In today's Medico Apps Masterclass, we will learn about the embryology of genitourinary system. As an overview of the genitourinary system, which consists of the urinary part, which further consists of the nephric system and the vesico-urethral unit, and the reproductive part which consists of the gonads, the genital ductal system and the external genitalia. The nephric system consists of the collecting and the excretory unit of the kidney while the vesicourethral unit consists of the urinary bladder and the urethra. The gonads is the ovary or the testis while the genital ductal system consists of the wolfian duct also called as the mesonephric duct in, which develops into the male genital system and the mullerian duct which is also known as the paramesonephric duct which develops into the female genital system. Further, the reproductive part consists of the male external genitalia consisting of the scrotum, the penis, while the female external genitalia consisting of the clitoris, labia majora and minora. Let's now look at the flow chart to understand the embryology of genitourinary system. From the epiblast, we have the ectoderm, the mesoderm and the endoderm. The mesoderm further divides into the paraaxial, the axial, the intermediate, the lateral and the extraembryonic. It is from the intermediate derivative of mesoderm that we have the pronephros, the mesonephros and the metanephros. The pronephros is the early stage while the metanephros is the final phase which is also called as the blastema and forms the proximal convoluted tubule, the distal convoluted tubule, the loop of Henle and the glomerulus. It is from the mesonephros the major portion of genitourinary system is formed. The mesonephros give rise to the paramesonephric duct, the mesonephric duct and the genital ridge. The genital ridge gives rise to the ovary and the testis. The paramesonephros, also called as the Mullerian duct, give rise to the female reproductive system, namely the fallopian tube, uterus and upper two-third of vagina. It is at this point, let me tell you two most important points which are frequently asked in PG exams. Number one, the paramesonephric ducts mostly degenerates in male and number two, the lower one-third of vagina develops from sinovaginal bulb which is derived from the urogenital sinus and therefore it is endodermal in origin. So upper two-third is mesodermal in origin, lower, two -third, lower one third is endodermal in origin. Now coming to the mesonephric duct also called as the Wolfian duct, it gives rise to the male genital system consisting of the epididymis, vas deferens and ejaculatory duct and the ureteric part which gives rise to the pelvis, the calyces, the collecting tubule and the ureter. At this point, let's look at a table which will further elaborate on the fate of mesonephric and paramesonephric duct in both male and female. The mesonephric duct in both males and females form the ureteric part which further gives rise to the ureter, pelvises, calyces and collecting tubule. Also the trigon of bladder is formed by the mesonephric duct in both male and female. It forms the vas deferens in male and Gartner duct in females epididymis in male and posterior wall of urethra in female. Part of the mesonephric duct known as mesonephric tubule gives rise to efferent ductule of testis, ductus aberrant superior and inferior in male and correspondingly oophoron and paraphoron in females. The paramesonephric duct mostly degenerates in male and only gives rise to the appendix of testis also called as hydrated of moragini along with the prostatic utricle. In females, it gives rise to the fallopian tube, uterus and upper two-third of vagina. Let's now look at the development of male and female reproductive system. At around 9 weeks of gestation, we have bipotent gonads and the Mullerian and Wolfian ducts. Now, in presence of male hormone in fetus, the development of male gonads takes place along with the development of epididymis, vas deferens and other male reproductive structures. 
However, in the absence of male hormone, female reproductive organ develops along with development of other female reproductive structures from the paramesonephric or Mullerian ducts. The development of genitourinary system continues from 12 to 14 weeks till late fetus. Let's have a closer look at the development of male and female external genitalia. At around 7 weeks of gestation, we can see the genital swelling, the genital fold and the genital ridge along with the urogenital sinus. This development further continues till around 9 weeks and hereafter based on the presence of or absence of male hormone, the external genitalia differentiates into male or female external genitalia. If male hormones are present by 12 weeks, you can see the genital swelling develops into scrotum, the genital tubercle develops into glans penis and the genital folds develop into the ventral aspect of penile urethra and penis. This development continues till late fetus. However, if male hormone are not present, genital swelling develops into labia majora, the genital tubercle develops into clitoris while the genital fold develops into labia minora. This development of external female genitalia continues till late fetus. Moving forward, let's look at the same information in tablet form. The genital ridge forms the ovary in the female and testis in the male. The genital swelling forms the labia majora in the females and the scrotum in the males. The genital fold forms the labia minora in the females and the ventral aspect of penis and penile urethra in males while the genital tubercle forms the clitoris in the female and glans penis in the males. Let's end today's medical apps masterclass with the brain teaser question. The upper two third of vagina is endodermal in origin, true or false? If you know the answer, write in the comment below. I would really love if you can also comment your feedback on how I can improve these medical apps masterclasses so that they can be of more use to you. If you like the masterclass on embryology of genitourinary system, don't forget to subscribe by clicking here. Also, hit the bell icon to receive the notification whenever any new medical apps masterclasses is uploaded. Check out this next medical apps masterclasses especially for you. Hope you find it useful.